This Elden Ring guide video will cover all secrets and unique items that can be found in the Fringe Folk Heroes Grave Dungeon. To reach this dungeon, open the fog barrier by using a stone sword key on one of the gargoyles near the stranded graveyard site of Brace. Head down into the pit of poison, stop and stand on the pot I run over if you need time to let your poison buildup drop, then make your way forward. A mechanical chariot of death prowls these halls and bowls over anything in its path. There are safe nooks on either side of the halls at regular intervals, however, spirit guardians will spawn in some of them to attack you, so watch out for those. Beginning at the start of the path, wait for the death machine to roll up and turn around, then sprint after it, passing one safe nook on the right and stopping at the second to wait for it to roll past you. Once it's safe, quickly dart down the ramp and turn into the next safe nook on the right hand side, where a spirit archer will appear. Jump over the ledge here and land on the slope below, continuing down. Not too far ahead, there's a narrow bridge section that you won't get across in time. Instead, drop down to a hidden platform below it. There are some fairly tough enemies down in this area. A spear or other piercing weapon with a shield is recommended. Moving on, there is a fire trap that will need to be triggered before running back for a moment, waiting, and then sprinting down the hall to a safe point on the right side, while the trap resets. Watch out for the one enemy waiting in ambush at the safe point. Defeat it and then move on towards the trap's position once it's safe. There's a dead end to the left with some enemies waiting in ambush and also some items to pick up. We're just going to continue straight into a grand open chamber. There's a bridge in this chamber and across it you'll find the Erd Tree's favorite talisman, but beware, two abominations will drop, one on either side of the bridge, and close in on you. You can quickly dart past and avoid the abomination to grab the talisman, but the only way of getting out of here is to either defeat the abominations or to die. From what I've been told, they don't drop any unique items when defeated. Speaking of unique items, that talisman slightly increases max health, max stamina, and equip load limit. However you go about doing it, you'll want to return to the location just before crossing the bridge to the talisman. There is another hidden ledge you can drop down to below, and a shallow pool of crimson water below that. Once down in the water, ascend the staircase and take the lift up. At the top you'll have to defeat an elite spirit guardian before getting the bow, and there is also a nearby stone sword key to pick up. After defeating the enemy, peer down the left hall, there are three large pots, each hanging from the ceiling by a single rope. The objective is to use a ranged weapon with compatible ammo to break the rope of a pot and have that pot land on the mechanical chariot below. The fact that there's three pots gives you three chances at success, they also reset whenever you rest at a site of grace. The strategy that worked for me was to aim at a rope, then listen for the chariot to hit the bottom of the slope, shooting the rope a half second later. I'll play this specific part with audio so you can hear it for yourself. As you can see, the pod drops on the chariot, goes boom, and there is no more chariot to pester us in this dungeon as it will not respawn once destroyed. And this specific action is also what rewards you with the Erd Tree Great Bow. Follow the path all the way down and across the narrow bridge, dealing with any spirit guardians along the way. We'll head right and up to reach an elite spirit guardian that has some fiery incantations to work with. He's pretty tough but not unkillable. I mostly kept my distance and used ranged attacks to deal with him and took special care to avoid the fire breath. However you manage it, defeating this foe will reward you with the Dragon Communion Seal, an incantation seal that has no weight and boosts the power of Dragon Communion incantations. The final path in Fringe Folk Hero's Grave leads us to the Ulcerated Tree Spirit Boss. Head down from where the Dragon Communion Seal was obtained and past the forked intersection. Many Spirit Guardians will appear to attack but just rush past them to the fog door at the bottom of the ramp on your right. The boss you have to fight here is massive and can be very intimidating. You can mostly avoid taking damage by staying close to the monster's belly and keeping your shield up to block its attacks. There are two exceptions to this rule. The first is an attack where it lets out a roar and then begins whipping around. 
It will lunge to clamp you up in its jaws. This attack must be avoided with a dodge or good positioning. The other exception is a radial flame burst attack that you will take reduced damage from if you can block it, but is still better to avoid entirely by backing away, which I sort of failed at but beat the boss anyways. Once felled, the ulcerated tree spirit will drop the banished knight Oleg spirit summons. I unfortunately do not have the 100 plus required FP to summon this spirit, but have heard from a trusted source that it's pretty dang powerful. If you want to see more great Elden Ring guide videos, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Saturday, and a great weekend, and as always, thanks for watching.